Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss the four most confusing basic concepts of chemistry, atoms, elements, compounds, and molecules. First of all, we are going to discuss atom. What is an atom? To make it easier to understand, we compare the concept of atom with bricks in a wall. So imagine you have a wall made of bricks. Because the wall is made up of bricks, so we can say that bricks are the building blocks of our wall. Just like bricks, all the matter in the universe is made up of tiny particles known as atoms. So, we can say that atoms are the building blocks of matter. Now, let's take a closer look at these atoms. Each atom has a nucleus at its center, composed of protons and neutrons, while electrons revolve around it. These protons, neutrons, and electrons determine the characteristics of an atom. So, an atom is the smallest unit of matter. It's like the individual brick in our wall. So, atoms are the building blocks of everything around us. They make up the air we breathe, the water we drink, and even, we are all made up of atoms. Now, you can ask me a question. Are all atoms same? Well, the short answer is no. There are 118 different types of atoms. All have different number of protons and electrons. Like a hydrogen atom contains one proton and one electron. On the other hand, helium contains two protons and two electrons. So, different atoms have different numbers of protons and electrons. Now, we are going to learn about elements, compounds and molecules. As we know, all atoms are not identical. Some atoms are stable and don't like to combine with other atoms. Such atoms exist freely in nature. For example, helium, neon and all other noble gases. They don't like to combine with other atoms. On the other hand, some atoms are unstable. They are either combined with similar atoms or with different types of atoms. For example, two atoms of hydrogen combine to form H2. Similarly, two oxygen atoms combine to form O2. Many atoms of sodium combine to form sodium metal. On the other hand, water contains two different types of atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Let me define element. An element is a pure substance, consisting of only one type of atom. So, according to the definition, helium and neon are elements, because, they do not contain different atoms. H2 and O2 are also known as elements, because, they contain the same type of atoms. Similarly, sodium metal contains the same type of atoms, so it is also known as an element. Water is not an element, because, it consists of different types of atoms. The substance, contains different types of atoms, is known as a compound. So, water is known as a compound, because, water contains different atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Now, what are molecules? An atom or group of atoms, that are stable, and can exist independently are known as molecules. Independently means that can exist freely. Let me tell you, which one of the following, can be figured out as molecules. All noble gases, like helium and neon are stable, and exist freely. So we can say, these are the molecules of, helium and neon. The single hydrogen atom is not a molecule, because it is unstable, and cannot exist alone in nature. It can exist freely by combining two atoms of hydrogen. So, H2 is a molecule of hydrogen. Similarly, O2 is a molecule of oxygen because it is stable and may exist freely. Sodium metal does not exist as a molecule because all the sodium atoms combine to form a metallic bond which makes it stable but cannot exist freely. On the other hand, water is formed by combining two hydrogens and one oxygen atom. In this way, it becomes stable and exists freely, therefore known as a molecule of water. In conclusion, molecules can be made up of either element or compounds. Elements are single types of atoms that combine to form molecules, while compounds are made up of different types of atoms. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.